morning, afternoon, or evening. When candidates come to our face-to-face -face MRC OG courses, I have a single question that helps me separate out those who are likely to pass from those who may sadly fail. This single question is a simple one. It is in fact absurdly simple. I ask, how far are you into your revision? A candidate may give me the answer, I'm a third of the way there, or I'm halfway there. And we will both know it's just a guess, often a wild guess, and in fact, a rather meaningless guess. This candidate has no real method for tracking progress and limited idea about where they are with their revision. The odds are not in their favor. Now contrast this with another candidate who gives me this answer. When I checked last night, I was 68% there. And given we have 42 days to the exam, I feel confident that I'm on track. This candidate has a method for tracking progress and seems to have a plan. You start to feel confident about this candidate, don't you? Now here is the good news. There is nothing to stop you from being that second candidate, the one with the plan. Let me show you how. It's a five-step process. Step one then, print off the ACE MRCOG syllabus checklist. There is one for MRCOG part one and another for MRCOG part two and three. You will find these on our website. The checklists have more than 500 items. By the way, if you think I have missed anything out, do please let me know. Step number two, now work through the list item by item and RAG rate it. RAG rate it, you ask? RAG stands for red, amber, and green. Red if you don't know anything about that subject. Amber if you know something about that subject. And green if you think you have absolutely nailed that subject. That is, you know it really well. Do that for the entire list. Step number three, let's do some scoring. All the greens get a score of one, all the ambers get a score of 0.5, and all the reds get a score of zero. Count all the greens and all the ambers. Say you had 170 greens and 40 ambers. Your total score will be 190. Step number four, work out your percentage progress. For that, you simply divide your total score by the maximum available score and then times it by 100 to get a percentage. The MRCOG Part 2 syllabus checklist currently has 502 items in it. So the percentage progress for our candidate will be 190 over 502 times 100, which is 38%. Not halfway there, but 38% there. Step five, the final step is documenting your percentage progress on your exam countdown calendar. What is that, you ask? Let me explain. You get a calendar, you mark the date of your exam as day zero, and then work back all the way to today's date. And here you put 34%. That is your progress documented. So there you are, you have done it. Now you can track your progress week by week. You have a very powerful tool that will help you plan. I hope you found this useful. See you in Birmingham for the weekend MRCOG course.